Welcome to Grand Final Whiskey, my name is Matt and today we're taking a trip over to the Caribbean to try out Tullamore Dew's Caribbean Rum Cask Finish. Now, while I get this into the glass, you know what you need to do. If you're not subscribed yet, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I put out a new whiskey review every Wednesday and I put out a new cocktail recipe every Friday. So hit the subscribe button, you'll see them all. Now, while this breathes for a second, I'm gonna tell you a little of the history of this whiskey. So what Tullamore Dew have done is they've taken their classic triple distilled blended whiskey and they've aged it in casks which used to hold Demerara rum. Demerara rum is a nice, sweet, densely kind of syrupy, sugary type of rum. So it's really good and it's had a really strong impact on this whiskey. Now, rum cask finishes isn't something that's particularly uncommon these days in Irish whiskies. Teeling's flagship blend is aged in rum casks. Bushmills have come out with a Caribbean rum cask finish. Blackstone and Kinsale, Sailor's Home, now Tullamore do as well. All coming in, all really understanding the great impact that a Caribbean rum can kind of have. Because Irish whiskey typically isn't peated, it's going to be quite light, quite floral, quite sweet. And so when you finish a light Irish whiskey in a rum cask or a port cask or a sherry cask, it really takes on a lot of the influence from that cask. So you can really take, like as Tom Moore do have done, you can take the classic, simple, straightforward blend and put a completely different spin on it by introducing a different type of cask into the mix. So I think that's more than enough talking. Let's get to drinking. Let's go in for the nose on this whiskey. So right off the nose, I'm getting kind of hints of pineapple, not the kind of pineapple that will come out of a can, you know, the extra sweet, extra kind of syrupy pineapple. This is like pineapple flesh, just like as if you've opened up a pineapple, you've eaten it straight from the actual fruit, that kind of nice kind of tart pineapple scent. It's really, it is really unique and it's come through very strongly in here. There's also, there's also almost kind of like a dense round banana sweetness. There's some spices, almost like a spice biscuit. And then I think underneath all of it, there's a little bit of vanilla just kind of sitting underneath everything. I think this whiskey originally started in bourbon barrels, so it wouldn't be surprising if there was some vanilla sweetness in there too. Yeah, it's not an overly complex nose. There's not a lot kind of hidden in there. There's not any real notes I can't identify. It's nice, it's open, it's welcoming. There's lots of sweetness in there. There's lots of floral fruitiness in there. It's just a nice, open, friendly, interesting nose. So I think it's time to go in for the palate. Mm, okay. That pineapple note from the nose, it's still there. But the biggest note I'm getting here is actually quite reminiscent of a, of a banoffee pie. If you're not familiar with banoffee pie, it's just got a spice biscuit base, it's got caramel, it's got bananas, and it's got a kind of a vanilla cream up top. So it's a really nice dessert, it's really one of my favorite desserts, and that's the note I'm getting here. And oftentimes you actually get these kind of compound flavors in a whiskey. So let's break that banoffee pie note down. You've got spice biscuits, so there's a nice kind of dense, rich spice biscuit, a sweetness in there coming through from that. There's a caramel, kind of dense caramel sweetness. There's banana and there's almost like a creaminess and that's coming through, I think, from the vanilla. So all those notes from the nose, they really combine into making something that's really, really almost like a dessert whiskey, that, that kind of banoffee pie note comes through. Compound flavors like the banoffee pie note I got there aren't actually very uncommon in whiskey. So I've heard some people describe a whiskey as tasting almost like a blueberry muffin. And if you break that down, you've got the blueberries, you've got obviously, you've got kind of sugar, you've got the grains, you've got the sweetness, and you've got maybe some vanilla in there. So if you often taste a whiskey and you get like a compound flavor, don't be afraid to say you have that compound flavor, but then just break it down. So I think in this one, it's that banoffee pie. So you've got that spice biscuits, caramel, banana, a little bit of vanilla cream. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in again and see if I can find any other notes. Okay, on the second go around, the spices from the uh, spice biscuit part of the banoffee pie, they become more apparent. The pineapple note, that pineapple flesh, again, it's come through. But what I'm getting, which is a bit surprising, is almost a little bit of coconut, like a little hint of kind of dried coconut that just kind of lingers and just kind of sits underneath all the other flavors. Once everything else kind of has, has passed away, that coconut flavor comes through. So I think it's a really great little whiskey. I think there's a lot of flavor in there. So let's go in for the finish. Mm. 
Okay, so the finish on this whiskey is quite short. It's quite short, but it's also quite sweet. There's that floral sweet sweetness, there's that kind of fresh fruitiness that lingers on, but it is quite light. It just kind of does fade away. There's no one note that kind of stands out above everything else. As I said, that coconut flavor does kind of come through at the end. So that's kind of lingering there. A little bit of the spices, a little bit of the sweetness kind of hangs on too. But overall, it's just a quite short, uh, quite a short finish on this whiskey. And just because this whiskey is a short finish doesn't mean it's anything bad. This is actually one of my favorite whiskeys to use in a cocktail. So if I'm making something that has pineapple juice, or if I'm making something that has lime juice, I think this whiskey actually works quite well because it's got that kind of punch of pineapple up front, that kind of floral sweetness, a bit of spiciness, a little bit of kind of caramel roundness to it. I think it works really well in cocktails. Like this is one of my go-to whiskeys when I make a whiskey daiquiri because it's got that nice roundness it's got that caribbean rum cask influence but it also has some nice dense sweetness to it so i think it's a good whiskey all in all i think it's a great addition i think it is a bit better in my opinion than the standard tullamore do the rum cask finishing has made it just a bit more interesting it's added a bit of a new dimension to it the tullamore do is a great little blend but i think by adding the rum cask it's really made it into a really interesting whiskey and that's all there is to say about this whiskey. I mean, it's a great little drink. It's really easy to enjoy. So I'm going to keep on enjoying it. And I will see you next time. Sláinte.